To quote Tom Hanks, last season's Oregon Ducks was like a box of chocolates. You never knew what you were going to get. Yeah, one minute they might beat a Stanford or might beat USC, but they could also look horrible against Washington State and have 62 points scored at home on them and lose by 42 to Utah. Like I said, with Oregon last year, you never knew what you were going to get. Yeah, Oregon never lacked for excitement. Fifth in the country in both points scored per game and yardage per game with 538. No shock at all that Oregon again will be looking to the FCS transfer route to find a new signal caller. It worked last year with Vernon Adams. He just couldn't stay healthy. But Dakota Prokop hopes that he can. He is a dual threat QB out of Montana State, and that will help. Running game, Royce Freeman is one of the best in the country, and the receiving core will miss Braylon Addison, but returning, you have the veteran Darren Carrington, all-purpose player Charles Nelson, you'll see him return punks and kicks, and also to Dylan Mitchell, the newcomer out of Tennessee, who should make an immediate impact. Offensive line has to replace some people, but don't have to worry about left tackle Tyrell Crosby or right guard Cameron Hunt, both are back. To state the obvious, if the Ducks are to win the Pac-12, this trend can't continue. Third worst in the country out of 128 teams last season, giving up over 300 yards of passing per game, and as a whole, giving up 485 yards of total D per game. Well, just like the offense with Scott Frost leaving for Central Florida and Mac Lubick now taking over as coordinator, the defense makes a change too, and Brady Hoke, that's right, that Brady Hoke from Michigan, they're going to a 4-3 D, Rush defense was just average last year, but they do return experience with Henry Mondu at the end and the tackle with T.J. Daniel. Linebacking core has to be definitely retooled. And the secondary, which was pathetic last year, they do return experience, so maybe, just maybe, improvements in the store. Of course, Tyree Robinson, he can play. He had over 60 tackles last year at his corner position for the Ducks. Six pack of games to consume, several road challenges await Oregon, including mid-September in Lincoln and early October in Pullman. Of course, look at that three-game stretch in November, no bye weeks and two on the road. We'll see if Oregon can beat Stanford again and go to Utah and get revenge on the Utes, who beat the Ducks last year by 42. I've got the Duck win total at eight. The offense should be fine as long as Prokup is compatible for this Duck offense, but the secondary gives up way too much, and that won't cut it, especially in the pass-happy Pac-12.